On August 16th, 2021, the Japanese Coast Guard got footage which proved something spectacular. A large volume submarine volcanic eruption had resulted in the creation of the world's newest island. The eruption in question is still ongoing, where you can see the frequent explosions due to the interaction of rising magma and superheated rock with seawater. This style of eruption is called a Circean eruption, and is named after another young volcanic island which was created by an eruption off of Iceland in 1963. This brand new volcanic island is located south of mainland Japan in the Pacific Ocean. However, it is relatively close to another well-known volcanic island, Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima is located a mere 57 kilometers north-northwest of this new island. This new island is yet to be named, but could be named after its host volcano called Fukutoku Okonoba. Currently, it has a C-shape to it and measures more than a kilometer across. This shape is due in part to the ongoing explosions which have carved out the center of the island's mass. With this being said, it is unknown if the new island will remain above the ocean surface as previous eruptions from this submarine volcano have also created temporary islands. Although previous eruptions have all been in order of magnitude smaller, three temporary islands were created by volcanic eruptions from this same volcano in 1904, 1914, and 1986. In the case of the island in 1986, it was quickly washed away by erosion from the ocean's waves within two months. Just like previous temporary islands, the new island appears to be primarily built out of volcanic ash. Unlike other volcanic products, ash is easily eroded away by the various forces of erosion. With this being said, lava flows do not erode away as easily. Thus, for this new island to become permanent, a large quantity of lava would need to be deposited via the ongoing eruption. This could very well be occurring as a small volcanic cone is visible. However, it remains unknown if this volcanic cone is primarily built out of ash or lava. Regardless, this ongoing eruption is fascinating to observe as you are witnessing the birth of a new island. Although little is known about the overall volcano, here is some background information. The Fukutoku Okonobua volcano is one of several dozen active volcanoes within Japan which is part of the Bonin Island Arc. This chain of volcanoes exists due to the collision of the Pacific Plate with the Philippine Sea Plate to the east of the island. The melted crust from this collision then migrates upwards until it erupts on the ocean floor forming a series of submarine volcanoes and volcanic islands. The Fukutoku Okonobu volcano began forming at a depth of 378 meters or 1240 feet sometime within the last 50,000 years. Due to its shallow depth, it has created numerous explosive eruptions which erupt a type of rock known as tracheandesite. Typically, these eruptions primarily occur underwater and can only be noticed via passing boats due to water discoloration. However, on occasion these eruptions can be large enough that they create sustained eruption plumes such as what is occurring right now. The formation of this volcanic island has led to the creation of a towering 16 km high ash plume which has led to numerous flight cancellations in the Pacific. Even small particles of ash ejected high into the atmosphere can make it impossible for aircraft to fly as these fine particulates will easily destroy airplane engines. Thus, this eruption which started on August 13th will continue at a minimum for several more weeks. Given the history of this volcano, its eruptions have lasted anywhere between 2 weeks and 7 months. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.